Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Assassin's Creed. We will continue right when we left off. Let's see what we can help our mother with. Buongiorno Ezio. Buongiorno a voi madre. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Anyway, I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come, it's not far from here. Maria Auditore, noble woman, wife of Giovanni and a member of Italian Brotherhood of Assassins. She was born in the powerful Mozzi family. Maria had strict childhood protected from the outside world. Resenting the control, she chose to fraternize with the lower classes of the city. She opened a bakery in her palazzo. And weeks later she met Giovanni, got married and had four children. I know about your fight with Vieri. What fight? Per piacere. Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco de Pazzi's many things, and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. What will happen to him? I imagine there will be a trial. Will father speak at it? He'll have to. He's the one with the evidence. Still, I wish there was another way. You have nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. It is an unfortunate state of affairs, but it will pass. This is Here the Bottega we, we spoke about, Leonardo da Vinci's first studio. Hello, Leonardo. Madonna Maria. This is my son, Ezio. Molto onorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. I'll be right back. He's very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. Mother. Back to your house then. Si, si. Ezio, help Leonardo, will you? I'm sure that there is no man more famous than the great Leonardo da Vinci in that period. Raised in Tuscany, a legitimate son of notary and a peasant woman, Leonardo had no surname. Da Vinci was the town that he was born in. He was a pupil of Verrocchio, who helped develop his genius. We are in Leonardo's first studio now, Bottega di Leonardo Firenze. Twenty years from now, he will complete his masterpiece, The Last Supper. Five years after that, the famous Mona Lisa. Leonardo, genius as he was, he suffered from chronic procrastination and had difficult love life. He was accused of sodomy this game year and he was most likely homosexual, having relationship with his assistant Solai. He was left-handed, vegetarian and oddly enough he liked studying human anatomy. That's why he was dug into gravy. Truth be told, it's been difficult for me to settle. Painting is nice. But I often feel like my work lacks, I don't know, a purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically, more directly. Architecture, perhaps, and, or anatomy. I'm not content merely to capture the world. I want to change it. Oh, Leonardo. I have no doubt you'll go on to do great things. Vi ringrazio, Madonna. That's kind of you. Leonardo's role will be much greater in this game than a family painter. He will put to use some of his engineering wits. He will definitely change our world. Thank you for your help, son. Don't let me keep you from your other duties. 
It was nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. Anch'io. We have done all the family missions, so we will continue with the storyline. Ezio, come in, son. I need these packages delivered to associates of mine in the city. I also need you to retrieve a message for me from a pigeon coop not too far from here. Va bene. I'll get it done. Come back here when you're finished. There are some things we need to discuss. And please, my son, stay out of trouble. Hmm? Catch up on the two main fictions, Assassins and Templars, Sworn Enemies. Templars seek to create a perfect world. They were looking a concept of worldwide peace for humanity under one government. The Assassins, on the other hand, they believed that humanity could obtain peace using free will. The Templars founded Abstergo Industries in 1937. This company manipulated and puppeteered many political figures to pursue their own goals. Giovanni's kid? No, idiota. He just happens to look exactly like the man. Give it here. Don't worry, boy. We're not contagious. At least I'm not. To elaborate their belief for peace under one government, humankind needed rules and discipline in order to mask its barbaric nature. The Templars planned to create a new world under their supervision, so the father of understanding for them it was Jupiter, but we will talk about that later. So far in game, known Templars are Pazis, but I think there is more of them to emerge. They are rich and powerful and ready to do anything to remain like that. Ah, most impressive. That is the fear of the god. Here, over here. Mm. I have a delivery from Giovanni Alatore? Yes. Were you followed? No. Why would I be followed? Give me the package. Tell your father that they're moving tonight. He should as well. Who's moving? What's going on here? Wait, come back. Explain yourself. Time for our last errand. Message from the Pigeon Coop. In earlier times, people used to send messages with the help of the pigeons. Pigeons always delivered messages to the right place, thanks to their ability to navigate their way back home. Using the help of the sun's position and its angles, they use also Earth's magnetic field to find the way home and infrasounds as well. The training contained taking a pigeon from its nest further and further every day and letting it fly back home. The messages were written on a roll of paper and placed in a tiny tubes tied to the pigeon's backs or claws. As we saw people running somewhere, it is time to head back home. I would like to say guys I really enjoyed this game. 
and we haven't started the real mission yet so nice when you manage to find a game that is so nicely written it has so many memorable characters interesting locations and also smooth game gameplay i really feel that this ga game set the bar high for assassin's franchise and i think that's the reason that they become so popular and released all those games later on I really hope that we will have a good time playing guys I really hope that we will enjoy these games so far it has been so good Father? Federico! Serezio! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! What happened? Where is everyone? They took your father and brothers to the Palazzo della Signoria, to prison. And my mother, my sister. Ezio. Claudia. Are you all right? Yes, but mother... She's in shock. They... when she resisted. It's not safe here. Is there some place you can take them? Yes, yes, to my sisters. Good, do that. In the meantime, I'll go see my father. Be careful, Messer Ezio. The guards were looking for you as well. During our second episode of Let's Play, we mentioned Plaza de la Signoria and the two jail cells on top of the structure. Unfortunately for us, in one of them, it's our father, accused and imprisoned. It's only right if we go and see him. The guards, they have a small meter that is turning slowly red. If it goes all the way red, they will attack you. If it's yellow, they will look for you and investigate. The meter starts for doing suspicious activities, like being on rooftops or causing trouble on the street. The red area shown on the minimap is the restricted area. Here guards will react faster. The best thing to do really is get off site. Ezio, father, what's happened? Took a bit of a beating, but I'm all right. What of your mother and sister? Safe now. Aneta took them. 
Yes. Wait. You knew this would happen? Not the way it did, and not this soon. It doesn't matter now. What do you mean? Explain. There is no time. Listen closely. Return to the house. In my office is a hidden door. Use your talent to find it. Beyond lies a chest. Take everything you find inside. Much of it may seem strange to you, but all of it is important. Do you understand? Yes. Good. Among the contents is a letter, and with it some documents. I need you to take these documents to Mr. Roberto. He was with me in the office this morning. The Gonfalonieri, I remember. Now please, tell me what's happening. Are the Pazzi behind this? There was a note for you at the prison. It said, go, Ezio. Go now. We will act on our father's instructions, go and find a room containing our future. So sorry, I must have forgotten my medication. We prefer always the most difficult path home. Activate Eagle Vision, all you need to do is press the triangle button. The door is easy enough to spot, and inside is the chest. That is one cool looking assassin's outfit. We got a sword as well, but we will use it now. Traditore! Hey! Look with the swords! Aren't you supposed to arrest me? No! What do you want then? Come back here! For you to die! Well, that's not going to happen. So why don't we explore other options? There are no other options! The bars on top of the guards show how much health they have. Get it low enough and you will kill them. Others maybe get scared and run. But we are not into the mercy business. I don't think that the Pazis are paying them good. <laughs> Only 3 florins?
tailors they sell pouches and dye clothes we will save up for the large medicine pouch it is really useful oh well next time ciao amici why not shop with me blacksmith sell weapons armor small weapons and later then, yes and i'll find they something by then broken i'm armor sure as well. the broken armor will show in the health bar with the black spear that the doctor cannot pick. That is the time to use it for black spear. Leave it here, friend. Silks and clothes of finest weave. One more of the future's paradox. So we will keep pressure on both of them. We can block an R2 button and help them with the triangle. Auditori? What are you doing here at this hour? It... I, I don't... Wait, child. Take a breath. Collect your thoughts. My father and brothers have been imprisoned. I was told to bring you this. Ah. Uh, I see now. It's a misunderstanding, Ezio. I'll clear everything up. How? The documents you've given me contain evidence of a conspiracy against your family and against the city. I'll present these papers at their hearing in the morning and they'll be released. Thank you, Signore. Of course, my child. Do you need a place to stay? You're more than welcome here. No, grazie. I'll meet you at the piazza. Don't worry, Ezio. Everything is going to be fine. I got a feeling nothing is going to be fine, but let's see. Just last month, Visconti bought 300 of my finest sabers for his cavalry. Let's refresh our armor and go to our family's hearing. Collaborators are 
are here by chances, you dare. You are a traitor, Roberto, and one of them. You may take our lives this day, but we will have yours in return, I swear we will! Father! There! Grab the boy! He's one of them! I'll kill you for what you've done! Only one smart thing to do here is to run and leave to fight another day. As we complete sequence 1 of our journey, we will finish this episode. In the next, we will explain what happened and how we can get our revenge. Thank you for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it, see you soon.